TeamUp lets you form teams on connected devices so that your students can work together on a collaborative presentation. Once completed, the teams can take control of the whiteboard from their devices and present to the rest of the class. To start, choose a title and objective and click Create a Team. You can then assign a class to this team up activity or save as a template. I'm going to choose one of my classes. I can now put the students into their teams. You can either drag and drop the students into any number of teams or click random that will distribute the students into the number of the teams you select. You can also use previous teams and this puts students into the teams they were in for their last activity. If you don't assign a student to a team, they can pick their own team. Add some objectives and then either save as a template or launch either as an assignment or live in a lesson. The main screen on the left is the whiteboard or teacher laptop view. The unallocated student chooses blue team to join and they can start working on the activity. The students can now create their shared ideas by adding images and text onto the slide. Click image and then click the slide to bring up the image library. Upload images from your computer, Google Drive and Google Images. The student then creates their slide. The student ideas will be added to the team's collaborative space. Students can either produce their own slides or work on a slide together. By clicking review on each team, you can see who is working on the slides. Students can message each other during the activity. You can also check the messages they are sending each other. Once the students are ready with their presentation, they drag their slides onto the slide sorter and click ready to present. You will receive a notification that that team is ready to present. By clicking ready to present, you'll hand control of the whiteboard to the team who can present their slides to the class. The other teams will be able to post questions and comments that will appear at the end of the team's presentation. You can also award a mark to the presenting team. End the session and you can either extend the activity to be completed at home or the next lesson, or click finish and this will show the exit tickets with each team's contribution and performance. You can break this down into individual contribution to the team activity.